everyone, it's Kelly and Molly. And I'm here with my daughter today to show you a project that we worked on together. And I wanted to make a sign for when I do my projects for MB's Treasurista as a guest designer. And I'll go ahead and let you know what we both did, but Molly wants to let you know what she helped me do today. I helped paint this right here. And what I did is I painted the rose with glimmer mist, and I took a brush and did that. And then I painted it with, painted the stem and leaves with the same thing. And then I did paint splatters, and that's what that is. And then I glimmer misted it all over the doily. So this was a heart doily that I had gotten, I think, at the dollar store for a pack of so many for a dollar. And she was helping me with my project. So I gave her the glimmer mist and the paint, and she went to town. And so that's what um, I let her do. And then we matted it on a cardboard so that it would be a little bit more sturdy for this sign. So then I took the MB sign and I had already had it printed out and I had glimmer misted it and did some touches to it. I used a note Sizzix die that I have from Stampin' Up and I used the paper collection from I think it was a my mind's eye um I don't have it here with me but let me see It was the Lost and Found from my mind's eye was the paper collection that I used. And this, I put the scallop, or the, the note top at the top and at, at the bottom. And then I adhered the heart behind it. After that, I started layering and I found this paper here that had the little note. Um, let me see if I can find another one. And I wanted to cut it out and put my name on it as the guest designer. So that's how I did that one. I don't think I have one here. But I cut that out and put it over at the side here. And I matted it. And then I started adding some little extras. And I cut out from the sewing kit die from Tim Holtz the dress form, the button, and the little uh, thread spool. And then I added the lace trim from Misty's store down here. And after that, I layered this pearl trim. And it's this drop pearl. I used that. And then over top of that, I used the sequined organza trim. And I'm completely out of that. I used that all. Then, after I did that, I used some of the mesh bling, and I used the yellow, and I went around the top, and I framed out the sign with that. And after I did that, what I did was I took the, this is a ruffled trim with an organza bottom, and I have the cream and the pink and I took that and I layered it on this dress form here. It looks really pretty. Thank you, honey. And I actually had some crystals that Misty had given and they were the diamond crystals. Now these are the mini diamond crystals. But I actually took and I threaded those and I put them all along the bottom of the dress form so it has like a crystal bottom on the dress form. I used the mini daisy trim up here in the white and this was the heart trim in green that I used to do the dress form and this was what I used for her necklace. So I have that and this is what the daisy trim looks like. And that was the mini. And then I actually um, adhered it to the side here. And then I added the little button with some of the lace left over. These are the mini carnations. And they come in a, um, a lot of different colors. So these are the mini paper carnations. And I used them here. Oh, sorry. You can't see. <clears throat> I used them down here and then I also used them over here and then I used 
some of the curly paper flowers over here and I added one of my own shabby chic chiffon rosette flowers over here behind and that was from my stash and I don't normally do charms so the idea came for the crystals I had them laying out here on the table and they all kind of fell in that pattern and I thought oh my goodness what a beautiful beautiful bottom to the dress that would be so that's why I came up with that idea and then I took the leftover heart trim up here and I actually thread it around the bottom of the spool here so it looks like her necklace came from a spool of the thread here so after I did that I took some of her well I took one of the butterfly acrylic beads and I added it up here to a charm right here and then I put a pearl up here and then a flower and then this was a pearl uh, stick or pearl stick pin and here was the carnations and then I added one of the acrylic flowers right here so after I did that I wanted to get started on the floral bouquet here at the bottom and I basically just used um, a lot of different flowers that I had from my stash to incorporate the same colors so this was a large rosette wedding flower that I had gotten in the wedding section at Michael's and this was a, per, a pink one and they actually came with the there's a pink leaf and then a white leaf back here they actually came with the leaves and then um, these are some variegated colored pink roses that I had in my stash this was one of the um, rose paper flowers from Misty store and then these are some little wedding flowers the shimmery um, organza that you see here some extras that I had gotten at Michaels here's one of Misty's acrylic flowers with the gem centers and here's another one down here with the gem center and you can see the bottom was just a piece of cardboard and then here are some little um, stamens that I stuck in here and a couple in here so that is my sign and I really like it and it's a little different than I normally do I normally have black and and red and yellows and oranges in my craft room but I wanted to do something this is a shabby chic so I was really really pleased with it and I was so glad that Molly could help me and this is what I created with her. So I hope you guys like it and leave me a comment. And thanks so much, Misty, for all my goodies and for allowing me to be a guest designer for um, MB's Treasury stuff. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.